snakes. The epitome of a slithering reptile inspires dread in all of us, and with good reason. The bite of a venomous snake, even to this day, kills and maims many people throughout the world, from Asia, Africa, the Americas, even here in Australia. But thanks to the work of enterprising researchers a long time ago, even some here in Melbourne, the problem of snake bite was countered by the development of antivenom. Now, antivenom is composed of proteins called antibodies. Now, antivenom itself is generated much the same way as a vaccine. You take your venom from a snake, such as a tiger snake, you administer it into an animal, such as a horse, you then collect out the antibodies from the animal, and that is administered to people for, treated to treat them for snake bite. Now, now the process of generating these antibodies undergoes an immunological response. Now, typically speaking, when you get, um, say, an antivenom developed for tiger snake, that's good for tiger snake bite. But there is some research in the literature that has noticed that there is actually some degree of cross-reactivity with these antibodies. That is, that they can react from those of different kinds of snakes. So what I hypothesize is that not only are these antibodies cross-reactive, but that they are also cross-protective. So as part of my project, what I intend to do is locate those immunological cells that generate the antibodies, specifically the B cells. Now, what I intend to do is to, first of all, locate not just every kind of B cell, but those that are specific for snake venom, anti uh, snake venom proteins. Then, uh, what I intend to do is then find the unique antibody genes that generate that, that specific antibody and then to produce those antibodies and, and test them for their ability to not only cross-react with the um, venom, but for those of different kinds of snakes. So, now, so then, what I hope to achieve with my project is that not only would we be able to understand this nature of cross-reactivity, but maybe in the future we could develop a better antivenom that is not only able to counteract this problem of snake bite that's still present in the world, but to have a more broadly neutralizing snake antivenom. Thank you.